no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to try and get as much of the tillage done on this field here as we can. Uh, I have gone three times around the field all the way around except for this little section. I've only gone around this part twice uh, because I, you know, I got to where this area was plowed and so I just kept going around it. But, uh... Yeah, so we're going to try and get as much of this field done as we can in today's video and then finish it off uh, tomorrow if need be. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get started on uh, cultivating, get us one step closer to uh, planting season. Uh, I have been thinking, uh, we do have a little under $900,000. So... I got to thinking, well, maybe we could get into dairy uh, right away this season. Or this year, I guess. Not this season, but this year. Now, what I was thinking uh, is I have a list. It's basically the same equipment that I was planning to buy for a newbie farm, except just a couple of adjustments and some added equipment. Now, I added the total of everything up that I'd like to buy, and it was a little over $200,000. We could easily buy that right now. Um, of course, that's not figuring in the price to buy the cattle. Um, I haven't decided how many cattle I'd like to buy. I'm thinking maybe 20. So if we do 20 cows, that right there is about $200,000 as well. Um, or something like that. So, in total, we're looking maybe anywhere from three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars to get started into dairy. Uh, I do want to look at one thing here. What do these hold? Does not say. Um. Now, what I'm thinking is after planting season, we'll look at how much money we've got. And, I mean, I'm sure we can easily do this. Of course, we do have the money to be able, or the room, uh, not the room, the ability, words are hard, the ability to take out a loan if need be which we should be pretty a-okay. We shouldn't have to uh, take out any loan uh, for anything. But of course, if we do just so happen to need more money, we do have that ability there uh, to do that. And yeah, so what I'm thinking is we'll uh, get our crops planted and then after we finish planting, We'll uh, possibly look into buying the equipment that we need uh, to start dairy cattle. And then we can't really buy the cattle until after harvest. Um, you know, a time when we would have, we'll have hay, we'll have straw, we'll have the silage. You know, we'll have all of the necessities to feed the cattle. Um, and they won't die uh, because if you don't feed them they will die and we don't want that to happen because we would just kind of be spending more money than uh, we need to now <clears throat> um, I'm fairly certain that this is what we'll do uh, but I want your guys input on that so um, you guys comment below uh, if you would like to get into dairy this year or wait until next year um, to do it. So if we do start things this year, um, after harvest, we will, well, after planting, we'll buy the machines that we need and uh, get everything taken over to the dairy farm. And then after harvest, we'll buy, uh, 
or you know then as soon as we can start making hay we'll make hay we'll try and get as many cuttings of hay as possible um, to try and get as much hay as we can I do plan to buy the uh, chopper that came in the Massey Ferguson pack I'm gonna get the one for haylage or like to chop windrows um, so you know we'll have to figure in a cutting or two for that uh, of course there are a couple of hay fields and there is plenty of grass area as well that can be mowed uh, and turn into silage or hay whichever we need uh, you know, whatever we need it to be so and then uh, all of our wheat straw we can bale and have bedding and just try and get as much stuff as we can and then feed them over the winter and in the spring and all of that stuff um, so we will you know that's what we can do um, of course it is totally up to you guys uh, I mean we will do dairy of course no matter what we'll you know whether we decide to do it now or wait uh, we will be doing dairy it's just a matter of uh, when so it's totally up to you guys if you want to do it this year or wait until next year or even you know even farther beyond uh, you know, maybe once we expand even more um, and of course you know even another option that we have with hay is we can lease a field and plant it in uh, grass and that would be a hay field there uh, as well so I mean there's all kinds of ways that we can do things if we uh, do decide to get into dairy this season so uh, it is totally up to you guys I'd love to hear you guys feedback on it um, I have already decided on what equipment I'm getting for it uh, no, I'm not going to get like a new Holland speed rower or anything like that or the H8060 whatever model it is uh, We aren't going to be doing anything like that uh, Quite yet uh, We will be starting off small with that as well And um, you know, We'll start off with you know a few cows. I'm not going to go super super small or anything like that, but um, You know maybe like 20 30 cows something like that We'll see what uh, what we get and uh, go from there. But yeah, so uh, I have been considering it a lot. So it is definitely something that we can get into uh, this this season or this year I mean we do have the funds for it uh, at the moment I mean maybe they might go down uh, you know majorly later but I know like when we fast forward time you know when we do all of that it will probably go down a fair amount uh, because of the daily upkeep on our machines but in reality, I don't foresee it going down that much that we can't you know, get into this stuff this year. So, if you guys do decide, you know, do request a lot that we get into the dairy, then uh, it shouldn't be a problem. And of course, we have that ability for a loan. So, um, we have that, and then, you know, harvest season, we'll be able to sell our crop. So, I would like to store it some and, you know, maybe try and get some higher prices for it, uh, if at all possible, but, you know, it'll kind of depend on how things play out. We may have to just put it in the bin uh, right away, just so we can keep harvesting uh, and sell everything as soon as we finish harvesting or maybe it can sit in the bin a little bit and we can wait for a better price um, it's hard to say of course 
things can be totally different in a matter of uh, a couple of seasons, so we will just have to find out how things are going to play out. I am definitely eager to get into the dairy. Um, I like dealing with animals. Uh, I wish there was beef, but I don't know. Maybe there's actually... Is there pigs on here? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pig enclosure is right, uh, right by that other farm there. But... I don't know. Maybe we'll do those later on or something, but... I'm not actually sure how do the pigs work so the reproduction rate okay so you can feed these guys a lot of um, a lot of stuff you can feed them the crushed corn not bad so power food I still haven't figured out exactly what the power food is if that's like grain um, I'm guessing that's what power food is. If any of you guys know, um, feel free to let me know. Uh, I can also, I might also just go fire up a test save game and, uh, on like, you know, just, well, my test save game on, uh, Goldcrest. Uh, just go on there and buy, you know, a couple of cows and get a load of, like, corn or something. And just see if, you know, if they take it and if that comes up as the power food. Um, so then I'd know, but if anybody knows already and is willing to, or, you know, and can say, you know, this is what that is, uh, by all means, please comment it down below. I'd love to know uh, what exactly it is. Because if it is like corn and stuff, then we can uh, possibly get look into getting like a bin to place uh, over at the dairy farm. Probably, um, maybe there is a bin over there, or even using one of the bins over at that other farm, uh, the farm by Field Seven. There, uh, I know there's a couple of bins there. We could store corn over there at that farm, and then just take the auger over and get it uh, I guess in a way maybe it would be better off just storing the corn here and then just get a load of it yeah and then just drive it over there because otherwise we have to move the auger all the way over there and move the trailer all the way over there uh, that would it would make a whole lot more sense to just store the corn here and haul it from here because otherwise it would that'd be a lot more excess driving than what we'd need you know what would be needed it would be just uh, a lot more work and a lot more wasted fuel than we need to be doing and wasting are we on our time wow we are only 13 minutes in so we might actually get a pretty fair portion of this field done uh, after this chunk all we have left is that one there so we've gotten a lot done already in you know a little under 15 minutes so hopefully we can uh, keep up the pace here and get as much done as possible at least finish off this little section that we're working on now uh, if we can just finish that up uh, I'd be pretty happy with that So I'm working on recording the third video in this series and the first one hasn't even gone live yet. It won't go live for another uh, little over three hours uh, for 
me, so it's just coming up on 3, and the video will be up at 6. So still quite a bit of time to wait until it goes up, but of course by the time you guys are seeing this, you'll have seen that video and, you know, one other previous one, and then this one, of course, so... Uh, seen quite a few videos already so I hope everybody is enjoying this series uh, I know I am I love this map it's really really nice and it's really realistic too so I really am really am enjoying it so far this is the best map that I've played uh, in 17 as of yet done with this chunk here of course the passes are shortening up with each uh, pass that we take each one gets shorter and shorter so that always helps in fact I'm actually going to change up the direction that I'm plowing in I think maybe I think I'll just kind of follow this edge here now Passes will get longer. Or, or, well, this will be longer, I guess, than what we have been doing. Definitely glad to be coming close to the end of uh, plowing. The cultivating should go pretty fast. Uh, it shouldn't take very long to do that. That cultivator's pretty fair sized. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is here. Um, course play, like I, you know, I deleted all of that stuff um, once, and then made a bunch of stuff for this save game, and it transferred over to my larger save game. So I don't know why. That's kind of annoying, but we aren't really going to be using much for course play, anyways. Uh, at least not in the very near future so I guess it isn't that big of a deal it just is kind of annoying that oh man that um everything's moving over and stuff I did try like organizing my save games as well trying to like cause I've deleted so many uh so there was like you know, three, four save game spots in between a save game, and it, uh, I tried making it so that they were all, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and whatever, but evidently it did not like me doing that, so, I don't know, maybe that had something to do with it, but I highly doubt it. It's probably just because I'm on the same map, everything's the same, you know, it's recognizing all the same field edges and all that stuff so if that's the case that is kind of uh, kind of unfortunate it's kind of annoying but oh I forgot <laughs> forgot to take my foot off the gas and just use cruise control instead Got a couple more passes, and we will be done with this section here. I can move 
move on to that other one. bit here and then um, move on over to this other section Get as much of that done as we can uh, before the video is over hopefully get a fair fairly decent portion of it done depending upon how much of it we get done this might be the last video of plowing. Um, we might, I think what I might do is, you know, we'll plow as much as we can in this video, and if we don't get it done, I'll just do, you know, maybe there'll just be a little bit left, so then we can finish it in, in tomorrow's video. I mean, there's not a whole lot left here anyway. have to see how much of it we get done. I am kind of amazed that uh, the plowing has gone by as fast as it has. Um, I kind of figured it would take just a little bit longer. Um, with this, you know, with the size of this. In fact, I think it is actually about the same size as the, uh, the drill and the corn planter that we're using. So if that's the case, it shouldn't really take all that long to plant either, hopefully. But, I mean, who knows. It might take a long time, it might go by really super fast. finish it up pretty soon and be done with plowing and then get the cultivating over with pretty quick too and get, uh, just get everything done fairly fast so that way we can get to harvest or to haying if we uh, get into dairy this year. Acres are we running? 10, 20, we're running 33 acres right now. So, I mean, we're not super large, but we're not that small either. Of course, in real life, that is extremely small farm, but it's like a hobby farm to a lot of people. But uh, for farm sim, that's not too bad of a size. I'm still working on, uh, you know, field plowing fields on my 
large save game, so I don't know how many acres I'm running there. Uh, I'm guessing a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand acres there. Because I know a couple of fields there, you know, not far off from a hundred acres. And there's a couple of them. So, I definitely have uh, quite a bit of land on that one. I don't know how many hours I put into that save game already, and not even done plowing everything yet. Of course, I am only running two plows and a cultivator, and the cultivator, well, the one plow plows and cultivates, so that helps. Um, and then the other one, that one just plows, so the cultivator runs in the fields that you know, I ran that one in. And, uh, it, I don't know, it, it definitely keeps up the cultivator. Uh, it definitely keeps up pretty well. In fact, I did a little bit of playing on it this morning, and, uh, the cultivator is now just sitting idle. You know, just sitting there waiting for the plow to finish on the field that it's in. So that way I can get that running again. So it's... Definitely very busy. I mean, not for me, because of course play is doing everything, but it is still, uh, you know, there is still a lot of work going on, and I'm kind of doing odds and ends while course play runs. And I'm running. I had one tractor that was running low on fuel, so I had to go fill that up, and then, you know, buying other odd and end items that, uh, that I need or just kind of would like to have on that save game and yeah you know, like I bought a livestock trailer I don't really need it but just kind of fun to mess around with and I might get into animals on that save game anyways um, I would that one I just have to wait until after harvest before I can buy anything that or take out a loan because uh, I'm down to like two hundred thousand dollars now uh, so I really don't have a whole lot of extra money and I haven't even started planting yet so or two hundred or three hundred thousand something like that so I don't really have a whole lot of money to spend especially since I haven't started planting yet I haven't fertilized any of that stuff, so I think a loan is, you know, a loan it is only the way, the only way that uh, I could get into animals now on that one. But so we are going to finish this field, which is awesome. So we will take this to the farm and we will get the 2100 washed up. Uh, I'm not going to wash the tractor because it doesn't really pay. It's just going to get dirty right away again. Um, I'll wait to wash it until we finish cultivating. Then I'll wash this up. But uh, for now, I'm not really that worried about it. Because, like I said, it will just get dirty again right away, so... It really doesn't even pay to wash it. But, uh, we will wash the 2100 and get that parked. And, uh... We'll get hooked on to the cultivator. And then... Uh, tomorrow we'll start cultivating. We'll start off with... Field 25 there, again. Most likely, anyways. Sure. Do we have? Yes, I did buy the tanks. Okay. Wasn't sure if I bought the seed and fertilizer tanks or not. And that 
I did, so we are good there. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, timer was ending anyways. Um, I was going to stop it, so that way it didn't go off, but... I guess, uh... Ran out of time before I could get to it. Alright. So we'll get this parked. Oops. Uh, back in the shed. And we'll get hooked onto the cultivator and get that ready. And then, uh,. Call her a day. I am going to put it in here a little bit differently than the way that I had it the first time, just because with this tractor it's a little bit hard to get in and out of this little shed area here, so I'm going to just park it like this versus packing it in like everything else. Yeah, our cultivating should not take long at all. Uh, it is a fairly large cultivator, so... Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description. Uh, my PC specs are down there along with my upload schedule and some links to my social medias, uh, the Facebook page for the creator of this map, and also some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.